So we've given a lot of arguments against uh, egoism. You know, we, you know, there's the, you know, altruism is in your own self-interest, the difference between primary and secondary self-interest, there's the naturalistic fallacy, all these are arguments against. But really the best in argument against egoism in the modern form is a philosopher, a philosopher of science by the name of Karl Popper, uh, came up with a thing called the falsification fallacy. And the falsification fallacy says that it's really a philosophy of science thing, and it says in order to have a good scientific theory, a theory must be falsifiable, must be capable of being falsified. Not that it is proven false, but that it offers a method for falsification. Meaning that you can't just prove your theory. You have to be able to prove that your theory resists the effort to disprove it. What I'm saying is that Popper says scientific theories shouldn't be trying to prove themselves. They should be trying to prove that they can't be disproved. Now, if you think about it in the form of, like, if you're a cancer researcher and you think you found this magic pill and this magic pill is going to cure cancer. Well, what Popper says is Popper says that the scientists, the good science, the good scientists or whatever, isn't going to try to prove their theory, but rather is going to try to show that their theory resists efforts to prove it wrong. That they'll have a control group, and they'll have the group that takes the pill, and they'll try to prove that, you know, that their group does better, and that the way to falsify it would be to show that they both are the same. And so they resist the effort to prove them wrong, that the control group is there so that you know that you're not just, uh, that, you know, you're actually, you know, you're actually doing something different. Now, with that said, all scientific theories need to offer methods for falsification. If you simply have arguments in favor of them, what he says is that's a prejudice. That's not a, that's not good science, that's prejudice. Because the reality is, is things like, like, uh, uh, conspiracy theories essentially are uh, theories where they give you reasons to believe them, but they don't give you reasons not to believe them. Well, there's this evidence that the towers came down on 9-11 by the U.S. government. There's proof that this caused uh, the Kennedy assassination. I mean, you know, the, the, there are all these different conspiracy theories that exist out there, and they give you reasons to accept their theory, but they don't give you ways to disprove their theory. And so, what happens is, um, as far as the, uh, as far as the, you know, as far as the um, conspiracy theory goes, I mean, these are ways to prove your theory, but not disprove it. And what the falsification fallacy says is you need to offer a method to disprove the theory. Otherwise, you're just prejudicing the facts. Now, where does this come in with egoism? Well, egoism, the essential problem is, is psychological egoism is attempting to be a scientific theory that says if you take any action, you can show how it is self-interested. Well, the popper would say, but it's not that you can show that something is self-interested. You have to show that it's not, not self-interested. You need to be able to prove that it resists falsification. And what they says, he says, you don't give us a method to test if an action is resisting selfishness, that if it does that. And so all you're doing is taking a bunch of uh, statements, a bunch of situations, a bunch of behaviors, and saying, these are selfish. Why are they selfish? Because I can find a way to make them selfish. Well, do you have a method to prove that false? Do you have a falsifiable method? No, but I can show you that they are this way. Well, showing me that they are this way is a conspiracy. It's a prejudice. It's a way of doing it that way. It is not good science. And so if the entire argument is built off bad science, then the move from psychological egoism to ethical egoism is problematic.